You see, in all my teachings, books, and speeches, I emphasize the incredible power of our thoughts, emotions, and intentions. And today, we're going to delve deep into how these elements work together to create profound shifts in your reality. Let's start by understanding a fundamental principle. The elevated emotion is the carrier of the thought. This means that our emotions are not just fleeting feelings. They are energetic frequencies that carry information. The higher the energy, the faster the frequency, and the more elevated the emotion, the more powerful it becomes in shaping your reality. Imagine your emotions as a laser and your intention as the target. When you combine a clear intention with an elevated emotion, it's like focusing that laser beam with pinpoint accuracy. This coherent signature has the potential to create incredible changes in your life. Now, science has shown us that when people have a coherent brain and a coherent heart, something truly amazing happens. But it's not enough to just feel gratitude or have a clear intention separately. We've conducted experiments that prove this. You must combine both the clear intention and the elevated emotion for true transformation to occur. Think of it as tuning a radio dial. Your intention is the specific frequency, the direction, the field you want to manifest. And your emotion is the energy that carries that thought. So when your energy aligns with the potential in the quantum field, it's like a vibrational match and the universe starts to conspire in your favor. Now, intention is about getting clear on what you want. Let's say you desire a new home or a beautiful garden. The journey begins by immersing yourself in that vision. Start by collecting pictures of your dream garden. Draw images, write down your desires, and place them where you can see them daily. Keep your conscious mind focused on these dreams and watch how your subconscious mind starts working tearlessly to make them a reality. Patience is key here. Impatience implies doubt, and we must believe that our dreams will come true. Remember, we're here to experience life, enjoy the beauty of our creations, and let our senses be the artists that paint our biological canvas. As you visualize your dream home and garden, start making choices that align with your vision. Take bold steps into the unknown, become the creator of your reality, and find joy and excitement in the process. Understand that it takes time, just like tending to a garden. You'll need to pull out weeds, prune branches, fertilize, and remove obstacles. But the joy of creating your dreams is worth every effort because you get to savor the fruits of your labor. Your senses should be the last to experience what your mind has created. The intention encompasses all the details, but you can summarize them in a symbol, a letter, or a single picture. This symbol represents your dream house, your dream garden, and everything else you desire. When you hold this symbol, you're holding the essence of your dreams. Crucially, don't attach your happiness to the future realization of these dreams. Instead, affirm, I am, as if the thought you're having is already the experience itself. This shift in mindset will generate the corresponding emotion, moving your brain and body into the future, away from the past. When your heart opens, it moves into coherence producing a measurable magnetic field that extends up to three meters around you. This magnetic field carries the frequency of your intention. So when you feel gratitude with an open heart, you're broadcasting this powerful energy into the universe. Now let's talk about the importance of the energy of your emotion. Your frequency can carry the thought of your wealth or the thought of your health. But if you're trapped in suffering or negativity, that energy will carry a different set of thoughts, ones that won't lead to the manifestation of your dreams. Belief is key. To manifest your desired future, you must wholeheartedly believe in it. Your heart must be open and activated. You also need to learn how to self-regulate and maintain your connection to that future, even in the face of life's challenges. This process requires heightened awareness and consistent effort. Surrounding yourself with a community of like-minded individuals can be incredibly beneficial. When you're all connected to your future, you collectively desire it more than the emotions of the past, making it easier to stay focused and committed. Now let's shift gears and talk about relationships. Many of us yearn for loving, fulfilling relationships, but the truth is 
we often have misconceptions about what love truly is. Some associate it with need, others with sexuality, control, or dominance. These experiences may not lead to genuine love. In my view, relationships should never feel like work. If you find yourself constantly working on a relationship, something isn't right. The key is to bring your best self to the table and for your partner to do the same. When both individuals celebrate their life together, there's constructive interference, growth, and positive energy. However, if you're not at your best, it's better to step back temporarily and work on yourself. If you're not in a place where you can contribute positively, you might end up picking apart the relationship. Healthy conversations can only happen when both partners are open to it. People often say they want a loving relationship, but what they truly seek is happiness. This is where the connection between thoughts, feelings, and reality comes into play. As I often teach, thoughts are like the electrical charge in the quantum field, and feelings are the magnetic charge. Together, they create an electromagnetic signature that influences every atom in your life. Your thoughts send out a signal, while your feelings act as a magnetic field that draws events back to you. Here's the catch. If you're not in a state of love, either for yourself or life in general, you won't be able to create a magnetic field to attract a loving relationship. If you blame external circumstances or people for your negative emotions, you're essentially giving up your power. Anything that controls how you feel and think makes you a victim. Most people unconsciously react to external conditions with emotions derived from stress hormones. These emotions create a sense of separation from our dreams and heighten our sensitivity to perceived threats. But to manifest a loving relationship, you need to shift from these survival emotions to elevated ones. You might say, I can't open my heart, I can't feel love. But what have you been practicing? Whatever you consistently feel becomes your default state, even if it's guilt or anger. You might not even recognize it as such because it feels like you. The stronger the negative emotions you experience in response to life's challenges, the more they alter your internal state. You become fixated on external causes, and this heightened awareness of threats triggers your body's emergency mode. To manifest a true, love-based relationship, you need to practice trading survival emotions for elevated ones every day. You must learn to open your heart and move out of the survival state. You see, people often think that they want a loving relationship, but what they're truly seeking is happiness. To create that love in your life, you need to focus on diminishing your emotional reactions to people and circumstances. You must live in a state of love and positivity. Thoughts and feelings are intimately connected. Your thoughts send out signals, and your feelings create a magnetic field that attracts corresponding events. If you're not feeling love or joy, you won't be able to draw a loving relationship into your life. Your thoughts are the electrical charge, and your feelings are the magnetic charge. Together, they shape your life. Don't be a victim to external circumstances or negative emotions. Instead, practice opening your heart, cultivating love, and watch as your reality transforms.